So we'll look at two quick assert methods here and all they do is determine whether a given input is an array or not. So if, if the type of the input is an array. So the first method is the isArray method and all it does is it takes in an input and then it will pass the test if it's a type array or fail if it's any other type. So if we run this now, we can see that it fails with the error message right here and it expected this input here, which is a string, to be an array. So the only way that this will pass if, is if we made this into an array. So we can just do something like this and this becomes an array. You don't even have to have to add another element. If you just put the square brackets, it'll become an array. So if we run this again, we can see that all the tests have passed. You can also do, make arrays in other ways by calling methods that create arrays, such as a string split, for example. Now the um, opposite method to this is the is not array method and all that does is it passes if the type of the input is not an array. So if we run this now we can see that it fails because it expected this input right here to not be an array. And to make this pass um, the input just has to be any other type so we could just make it a number like this. And if we run this now we can see that it passes fine. So let's look at the challenges now. and so the. So once again, um, it's in unit test.js. We have try and assert imported at the top here. So we're on to challenge 11 now. And we have to give um, these two lines either the is array method or is not array method to ensure that we get a pass. So in the first one, the input is this string right here saying, is this an array? And it's they've called the dot split method here. And the dot split method basically creates, um, and it splits the string at a specific character and creates an array of all the like splits, I guess. And if you give a space, for example, it'll split them into like the separate words. But if you give it an empty string, it'll split them into characters. So this basically becomes an array that contains all of these characters right here. So we have this input becoming an array. So if we were to give this to the is array method, we know that this will pass. The second one, what we have here is we have this array and then they call the dot index of method and then they give one of the elements right here. And this method will return the index where this element lives. So this will be index one in this case. So this input is actually a number right here and it's not an array. So we wanna give it to is not array to pass this. And that should be everything really. So we can go ahead and copy the live app link and paste it into here and then submit it. Um, sometimes you might have to wait a little bit because the glitch projects do go to sleep and um, yeah, there you go. So it's working now.